Alec, you want to give us your overall assessment um, of the 90 minutes? Just here. Sure. <coughs> Rama. Um, yeah, we, we were off the pace in the first half. Did, didn't uh, get the, the tempo that um, I wanted. We were kind of halfway there, but never quite the full way in terms of pressing. And uh, the second half was much better. So we, we did some adjustments. And obviously the the you know the new caps, five guys, there's not a lot of um you know fluidity in the team in, in terms of the Costa Rica team being together for a couple of years. So you have to take that into account, you know, and it's also you know, also reminds me of um when you're playing a League Cup game and you, you rotate your squad and you think, right, this is that's a marvellous team on paper. But you find that they don't quite have the um, the rhythm of the, the guys who have maybe been playing regularly. So, but there, there's a lot of things to take from it. And I know I'll learn good things and learn some not so good things. I'll see some good things and, and see some not so good things, and I'll be right into that again tomorrow in the analysis before we decide um, on the second friendly game and and which team to play. Alec, what's the, the biggest improvements you need to take into the game against Hungary? Uh, well, I think that's for... And, and improvements, well, finishing for a start. You know, we, we did have a couple of chances in, in the second half that we, we weren't as clinical as the, the Costa Rica centre-forward in the first half, which, again, we, we our defenders backed into the box and and he, he stood his ground and he, he got the 45-degree cut back and, and buried it. You know, a very, very good finish, but we, we have to engage forwards, you know, when they come into the box. It's not a case of standing in, in lines, marking zones. We have to engage people who come into the box and stay with them and, and not necessarily be in a line. You know, it's it's, um, it's one of the things I was speaking to the players about that they, they try and learn from and improve on. A lot of encouragements as well from the, the new faces. You can take a lot of positives going forward from that as well. Well, yeah, you know, I, I, I had to try it. You know, that I think it was again common sense that we we're looking looking at new young players. We we have seen some great club forum from them, and you know, there was a few players who did really well. And uh, you know, we, again, these are the pluses. I have to look for pluses out of it, but I do have to get the right system, the right personnel for certain positions. We learned one or two things about that. Uh, and, you know, we, we, we must, we're, a Scot we're Scottish and a British team and we, we have to show certain traits in our game that, um, you know, the, the opposition uh, have difficulties with. And we did that in the second half. You know, we, the tempo was much, much better. And it was some bad passing. We missed a lot of passes, um, you know, some miscontrols that surprised me. The, the guys on, on the night, their quality. Whether they're a little bit apprehensive, I don't know. Uh, we thank the crowd for coming and supporting us, and and uh, you know, giving, even trying to sing, you know, when uh, we're a goal down. So that's, you know, appreciated. I like Ollie McBurney putting a shift up front as well. Did he um, show enough to suggest that he could be a, a right good option up there? Well, he's just a kid, you know. He's he's really young and and he's he's been playing with twenty ones in in recent months and over the last year or so. But he has been scoring goals in in the English Championship, and that's why we we gave him the chance. And there were some things in his game that that were effective. And some things, uh, he'll look at that and we'll show him as well. And he, he will, I think he's a guy who is very receptive and he'll, he'll listen to you and he'll see where he could uh, do better. He had a good chance, one across the face of the goal in the second half. And getting into those positions is important, but <clears throat> as you know in this game, it's and it's certainly at international level, you have to be clinical in there. and. It's a near miss for him, and he'll probably have a sleepless night on that. You mentioned the 21s, but it was encouraging, I suppose, to see 
that both he and McKenna uh, made the trans transition to the senior team with, with little fuss tonight? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I thought McKenna had a good game. He, he looked very comfortable. He got drawn out a couple of times in defence, but he went the whole way and he made sure that when he was drawn out, he wasn't leaving, he wasn't letting the guy get get the ball in behind him into the gaps. Sometimes the, the other defender can be beaten, you know, by early movement. But he made sure that he, he pushed the opponent away from the goal. And there was a lot of intelligence in his performance tonight. Alec, the goal was a bad one to lose. Yeah. Is it particularly disappointing that that was two of our most experienced players out there who were guilty of freezing at that particular moment? <laughs> Um, I'm not. I'm not here. I don't want to criticise the guys. They know. They know. They went in. You know, in, in a line, and you know, it looks it looks good sometimes. But you do have to engage strikers. You know, and you have to say, right, I'm with them. I saw Harry Kane scoring a goal against Spurs a few week, um, weeks ago, a month, couple of months ago. And he runs freely into the box, and uh, he's he's such a, a huge presence that he barges the centre half. Whereas, you know, if the centre half goes out and engages him, and and I think one of their defenders bumped one of our players in a similar situation, and that's what you have to do when the ball's coming into your box. It's about engaging defenders, uh, engaging forwards, picking them up, and if if one of the the, the centre backs had. Um, taking the centre forward, who put the brakes on. It's good movement. You see a lot of that in the game now, the, the cut back. And, you know, one guy, unfortunately, beat three of us and, and the goalkeeper as well. So, yeah, it was, a, it was disa a disappointing goal. It was a soft goal and definitely avoidable. Oh, is it important people don't rush to judgment? You know, get us <laughs> to settle in. Well, you know, it's just the nature of the beast, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think I, I would I would expect common sense to prevail, and and uh, yeah, I, I was a bit disappointed about the first half, and but much more um, pleased with the second. And we, there was a lot of changes, as as we said, new, five new caps, not a rhythm, you know, five days of training. Some of some of the guys didn't train a couple of the days because of Sunday games and. And you, you don't, you know, although we're five days together, I think, you know, we need to be together a lot longer to get, uh, you, you know, a feel for each other and a rhythm that, um, you know, Costa Rica certainly have. Been together a couple of years. Do you have in your mind, <coughs> uh, I know you're going to analyse it tomorrow, but do you have in your mind before tonight that you're going to play perhaps a, a different side on Tuesday in Budapest? Yeah, yeah. Um, of course, of course. Uh, you know, you know. I, I I went tonight with some people who were familiar with each other within the team, and and uh, you you know some of it worked, some of it didn't. And you know, thank goodness it's no competition. You know, that's you know, that's obviously not good enough for competition. But again, there is a process and. You know, I want my uh, my Scottish record to be good, and uh, at, the end, at the end of the day, I'm disappointed with the defeat. Second half chances, then possibly, you know, we should have had a draw of it at least. But uh, you know, there's the difference, and uh, we keep striving. We have to to try and nullify the the, the perspective that you know it's a, the same old Scotland. We have to um, show everybody that that is not the case by having good performances, but getting not only competitive performances, but winning performances.